Today, we're going to be talking about transformations. Now, transformations is one of the topics under the measurements and geometry portion of the graduation test. Now, that portion of the test is the majority of the test. So we need to make sure that we review everything in the measurements and geometry portion, especially transformations. Now, there are three specific types of transformations that we're going to be talking about and that they really emphasize on the graduation test. Those are translation, reflection, and rotation. All right, so we're going to look at these character we're going to look at the characteristics of each of these transformations on this website. Here we go. All right, so as you see here, they have them broken down into rotation, reflection, and translation. Now, in each picture, they have a word describing basically what each of those transformations are doing. So let's go up here to rotation. What's happening when you are making a transformation by rotation? You are just turning. So let's look at this. This was the original shape. How did they move it? They turned it. It's going around and around. And what could happen is, is it could turn in a circle. Okay, so a rotation is a turn. A reflection is a flip. Why? Because there is this little line right here, and what happens is they pick up the figure, and they flip it across that line, making it look like a mirror right here in the middle. The last one is a translation, which is just a slide. Slide to the left, slide to the right, that's all it is. It's moving the original figure up, down, across. Nothing is really changing, but you're just sliding it. Now, after any of those transformations, turn, flip, or slide, the shape still has the same size, area, angles, and line lengths. You didn't change any of that, you just changed its position. So, now, we're going to go a little more in depth on each of the three transformations, and then we're going to do a few examples, and then we're done. Alright, so first let's look at a rotation. Rotation means to turn around a center. Okay, so in this animation, they have a center designated here in the center of this circle. And you see our figure is just going around. It's turning, turning about that center the entire time. That's all a rotation is. Moving, turning, turning, turning around a center point. Now, is that the center of that rectangle? No, it's just a designated center that we're dragging that rectangle around. Now, if I scroll down, just for the sake, I'm going to draw a triangle. Now, what we can do is we can rotate it any way we want to. All it's doing, you see the center, this little cross right here, that is the center. And what's happening? Every time, what's happening? It's just turning. That's all a rotation is, is a turn. Alright, the next one we want to look at is a reflection. Now, they have this example here that a reflection is basically just looking at a mirror line. So let's look at this mountain. See the mountain? Right here, this land is almost what we call that the mirror line because look down in the water. Do you see it's the exact same thing? You can see that exact same mountain down there in, in the water because it is the reflection. Okay, so that's an example of a reflection. It's flipped. It looks flipped. Now, scroll down a little bit. Look at all these different ways they had this mirror line. You have it going across. You see that from here to here, it looks like this is the mirror. It's just flipped. This one is flipped. This one is the flip. So, let's look at a picture. I'm going to draw a, another triangle. And what I'm doing down here is I'm going to pick a line that I want it to reflect across. So watch this. See, it's going to draw a line. It's going to pick up every point in this shape and reflect it over that line. So you see what happened? It picked up the points and reflected it exactly over. So you see that this image and this image 
if I had a mirror right here, that's what it would look like. That's exactly what a reflection is. It's a flip over a line. The last transformation that we really want to talk about is a translation. And a translation simply means moving. We don't rotate. We don't resize. We don't do anything but just move it. Just slide it around on the page. Every point of the shape must move in the same distance and in the same direction. So, if I draw another triangle, I'm going to translate it. Let's just move it. All they did was slide it. All they did was pick up all the points, make sure they moved all the points the same distance, and that's what it is. It looks the exact same. It's just been moved over. Just had a slide. Okay, so let's go back to our main presentation, and we're going to do a few examples together. And I want you to be able to tell me which transformation we'll see. A translation? Reflection or rotation. Okay, so in this example it says which transformation is shown in the triangle in the triangles below. All right, so let's look. We have two triangles. They're kind of facing each other. Doesn't it look like a mirror could be in the middle of them? It sure does. So what does that mean? What kind of transformation? is that it's a reflection one of those triangles has been flipped across a line next example which transformation is shown in the shapes below well what has happened here what is what is this one and to this one all they've done is they have moved it. All they did was perform a slide. Which which one of the transformations is a slide? A translation. And in the final example, which transformation is shown in the polygons below? We start out with this one or either one. What's happening? It went from here and then what is it doing? It's turning. And which transformation turns? Rotation. That's the end of the transformations. Make sure you practice, study, and get ready for going in there and taking care of this graduation test.